half an hour from Cauldron Falls near Leighton. I was sat at home and uh, I posted to a WhatsApp group that I'm in that second weekend no taking, second weekend without taking the photographs and I got a, a call from Lynn saying get ready we're going out and this is where we've arrived. As you can see there's not much water today. It's astonishing how many of these small intimate waterfalls you can find if you look on Google Earth and Google Maps and do a quick Google search. Now obviously it's extremely slippery. There's some lovely compositions. There's one from just over here. You can use that there to take you in to the waterfall. And there's one a bit further across. I'll show you a side view. Have a look. Just there. Leads you right up, right in to the waterfall. A bit special. The water's a bit peaty a bit brown and golden coloured I think you'll be able to get quite close to it I'm going to go walking further up there and get in get some nice decent close photographs a lovely I hope you can hear me, a lovely tranquil little place here yeah and these little micro trips are what it's all about you can spend weeks planning a good weekend trip but a nice relaxed jaunt to a place like this well worth it so I'm going to put a big sign on the back of my screen when I'm vlogging make sure you turn the sodding camera on the bloody phone for the five minutes <laughs> oh anyway so <laughs> I've taken some square crop I've taken some four by threes and I've now rotated the camera it's a vertical orientation, just to try to get some vertical shots. Again, just obviously make sure that you change the polarizer around when you move. And it really is just a case of just moving the camera around. Half a second works just well. Any longer, it just turns to absolute mush. I do like to try to keep sections of interest on the third. Let's have a look what that looks like. You know when you have the moments where you look at a photograph on the back of your screen you think that is absolutely stunning. That is just dreamy. Try to bisect this one if you like into two separate sections. So you've got a lot of white at the bottom and a lot of dark at the top. Let me see what that looks like. Again, half a second. In fact, I'll show you a selection. Same composition, just different apertures. Eighth of a second, fifteenth of a second. Very, very different photograph. Always find somewhere to hide when we were kids so we could see and hear the water run. The river's gonna cry when you're gone. Where will you go? Won't you miss the ones you know? I'll be here, hanging on, waiting for your call. Like time As a wave passing by Leave a mark in our marks To turn the memories The river's gonna cry when you're Gone, 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 gone The river's gonna cry when you're Gone, 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 gone The river's gonna cry when you're Gone, 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 gone The river's gonna cry when you're River's gonna cry when you're River's gonna cry when you're gone